Guys, we're getting back with another hold on, epic video today. And that's so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to make, showing you guys how to make a fish trap. And that's if you. Sorry, I tripped over the puppy. Holly. So, in, you guys have never done this before. And that, here's a DIY video how to make your own homemade fish trap. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. And yeah, let's jump into it. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and ring the notification bell. Let's carry on with today's big awesome video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to smash it with the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, hit that like button. You know the whole works. Let's carry on with today's video. Okay guys, so we're here. So we've got a 2 litre bottle and just something to cut it with. You can use like 5 litre or something. Totally up to you how big you want it or how small you want it. Mine didn't probably be about average size, like for minnows and maybe a little tilapia or whatever. The little fish can easily swim in and out of here. It's pretty simple, cut your, cut your, turn it inside out and put it in and tie it all down and make sure everything's tight. So yeah, let's go on and don't know what's going on, I'm seeing things. Okay, so yeah, let's cut down, cut up, cut down, cut up, cut down, cut up. <laughs> what am I saying? So, yeah, so let's cut it, do everything that we need to do, and and then I'll show you guys how to cut it down quickly, and then tie it, and make sure everything stays in place and how we want it to work. So let's really get it cut down, and I'll show you, move you guys over to the next part. Okay, so we're here, we're going to cut it down. Now, so we're going to want to try to cut it over there. Just try and make this here since here okay, it's harder here. Yeah. Guys don't really need to cut it. I don't think I'm gonna get this thing to cut over here. Okay, it's not gonna cut where I wanted to cut, so I'm either have to go take something else that's sharper than this to try cut it. Because it's not cutting. You can get the See if I can make it short enough and get, just get this nose in. Okay, there we go. First incision. Okay, so this is going to take quite some time, so I'll catch you guys back up to speed once I've got this in cut. Got this part cut off, it's too hard because it's a harder type of plastic around here. Okay, it's a bit of a. Not that bad. Make sure you've got parent supervision or adult supervision when you're making this. Or let them cut it so no injuries happen to you guys or any problems. So then what we're going to do, so I don't know if you guys can see where the label sits over there. It's probably very clear. Over there, you've got that line there that gives you that mark. So what we want to do is we want to cut around there. So, just to make one incision. Okay, this is not what I wanted to do. So I wanted to bend in. It. It's kind of hard then to see. And I'm going to skip ready. So let's just carry on cutting around the screw there. And before you guys start asking, I'm going to show you how this thing works. No, not at the moment. I'll do another video later on. In the near about future of showing, of showing you guys how this thing works. And yeah, so that's what it's supposed to come out like. And you do that. After you press it all in, so it's going to look something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these pieces down so... In case of a big fish that tries to come through and they do not push it in or that, so there's no utter movement, there's a bit of oat in there, I'm going to do that. And what I'm going to as well do is I'm going to cut like a little, like a door here that I can push in to pull out the fish. Or I might do that or I'm, you can do that or I might, I'm probably going to land up doing that. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so this, I can pull this out and check them. But you know, then it's like kept tiny set sides down and fish can get in and out of there. Which I do not want that happening, but there's one place that we can put our baits inside of here, so that could be the best ideal place for me to do it. So yeah, let me carry on. I'm gonna give that part a cut down. Literally very simple. Literally you just line it up with these lines. So literally you can go do just two lines or what I'm gonna probably do is I'm gonna do those three lines over there, so a little bit, come across on this bottom line and come back up a bit. Make it all even so you can push it in and pull it up to get the fish in and out of here. It's very ideal, it's simple to get them in and out of there like that. 
or even if you like going to use fish hooks to hook it in place you can tie it up with line you can use staples to settle it all down totally up to you but the easiest part is literally just cutting that part off there sticking it in yeah so that's so that's what I'm probably doing. It's very, there's so many other options that you can do. So it's cool thing after now. I'll show you guys how to cut some tie this thing on just now. Very simple. I'll show you guys a very quick, easy way to do it. Just use stapler. You just staple it along, along with the stapler. That's a very quick, easy, simple way. You can tie a string on here too. So you can throw it out deep into deep water. Or you can just place it down. There's millions of ways to do it. You can even use zip ties or cable ties. We call them cable ties, people call them zip ties. Whatever, we want to call them, wherever you stay. They call everything by the faces. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. So. Actually, a little incision like that. Work along the line until you hit the back line. Some bottles have it, some bottles don't. Okay, it was a bit skew. You want to take it along this line. I'm just going to do two. What I'm doing is make two edges. I don't know why the second part of the video just cuts. Make two edges and bring cut down like that. And hopefully, so the reason why those last two parts of the video cut off because I ran out of space on my camera that I'm recording for. So literally, what I did is I cut a line, cut a line down. Then, if you guys can see it, there's one over. Wait. There and there, where my fingers are. Cut the line, just going down and down. I'm going to cut another one like that, cross quickly. Kind of hard, so it's see through plastic. So it's hard for you guys to pick it up. So it's hard to pick up on the camera. But I'll try the best I could do so you guys at least see what I'm meaning. Okay, it's okay if it's a bit skew. It doesn't need to be that perfect. Or literally, what I mean is. You want to have it flat so you can open and close this thing. So you can be able to throw bait inside of here and everything. So your bait should be able to be thrown inside of here, everything like that. Just make sure that you are able to close it properly. It's a bit rough on the edges, but it's not, it doesn't need to be that perfect. It just needs to be able to work. So then you just want to sit this part back on. So Fish gonna swim through this part, get stuck inside of here. Because of the angle, they're not gonna be able to find their way to swim back out. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Don't know why I'm saying that, but anyway. So that's what you guys want to be able to do. Then what I'm so what then what number of options do you just staple it around with a stapler? Or you can zip tie it or cable tie it down. Or you can just take fishing line and sit inside that fishing line. There's millions of ways that you can secure this thing down, or you can just go out and use it like this. There is pros and cons to doing it like this, but beggars can't be choosers. Something like that. However, that thing goes. So, and so literally, all the piece of trash you have is this only. Very little trash, and you're recycling, reusing a plastic bottle for something else, which is good for the environment. As long as you don't put it in the water, and three years later, you forget about it. Okay, that's bad. Because then you have dead fish and everything. So you want to just be able to put it in the water, maybe a day or two in the water. Make sure you know exactly where it is. You can tie a line with a bobber sticking up or something so you know where it is at all times. And yeah, that's exactly how we're going to do it. You just want to make sure that your door over here can close properly. You can even just take it and you can tie it down. Put a zip tie or a cable tie there or something to keep it down so it doesn't, you know, so the fish cannot be able to escape through here. They shouldn't be able to, which is one way to prevent them to get them in and out. You can easily just use fishing hooks to come down like this and just hook them around millions of ways. So this is one of the easiest ways. You can actually use it like this, and that I can easily, I've got ones in the past that have come in and I've tied it down like this. I can show you those. So I'll show you how the end product should look like. I'm not really keen doing this because it's taking forever to tie it down. And that takes a couple of times because like, I I prefer the fishing line more. It's stronger, it's sturdier, that's in my opinion, than like 
put two holes down and that and can have a rope coming out or something to keep it up so you can pull it in won't throw it out far but it's just meant for sinking it down so I can so let's quickly go show you a quick example of how it works and how it's supposed to literally work so yeah that's literally what you want to do is just come into the water and fill up with water and it should sink automatically down it's in that area over there don't think the camera can see it that well yeah you can see it so that's literally how it works and fish are gonna swim from that direction and that and yeah that's literally how it works thanks guys for coming in and watching this video let's before we end this video quickly that's better so before we end this video quickly let's quickly go show you guys on how it works uh yeah no sorry i was just thinking about something else no need for that, that's literally how it works, you paid it up through that hole that I showed you how to make it We can bed it through this part over here if you make sure if you want it to be able to be pulled on and off It's totally up to you how you want it to work And that's up to you, it's your choice, your own person So yeah, thanks for tuning in to today's video If you guys enjoyed today's video If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring the notification bell And let's quickly go check the, show you the end product, how it looks and and see it the ultra inside the bash area inside now. So we're in my room right now. We got the trap, can throw it on the bed, this on the bed. Let's quickly go grab the other trap that I've made before and I'll catch you guys once I've got the trap. What it looks like it's got Okay. So it's got the handle there. Don't know if you guys can see but it's the lighting is really bad inside of here. Give it time. Don't know if you guys can see it's all tied down like that to prevent it over there I didn't cut the bottle top off I was lazy and this one's got the door but it opens up the other way doesn't really matter which way the door opens I'll say no big problem with that and that's how it works it's just throw it in this one's got that line so you guys are able to you know just throw it in deeper and pull it out without getting yourself that much wet that much wet to get into the water that deep and that, so you literally can just pull it out. It works well. I'm happy with them. They work okay. That's literally how the end product should look like. They all depend on. I'm recording like that, James. So sorry for that, guys. But anyway, that's how they should look like. That's how they should end up like. And yeah, thank you for watching today's epic awesome video. If you did enjoy it, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and see you guys in the next video. Peace.